Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Good. I'm fine. You? Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Asking. Perfect. Perfect. So, let's see what we're gonna do. Today. I don't know. They are late. Yesterday they were late too. So, I think they are late today as well. Nancy is joining right now. Yeah, Nancy se está uniendo. Good evening. Good evening, Nancy. How are you? Uh, no good. <laughs> Why? What happened? I had. You have a headache. A oh, headache. Correct. Oh. I but um, I take Abamiram. Oh, okay. I feel good. So, no. so. <laughs> so. Yeah, I know. In the morning, I very hard headache. Yes, it's horrible when we have headache. ¿Sabes qué yo pasé? Quiero ver. Dos meses con migraña. Oh, horrible. Awful. <laughs> mm, it was awful. Yes, it was awful. That's why now I hate it. I hate that. But now mm, it's um, good. Yes, that was that was last year that I that I had ah, a headache. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was okay. last year, but not anymore. Thanks, God. No, es siempre, pero a veces sí me da un poco de migraña. Me da más fellito. Uh, pero ya, ya hoy ya me siento un poco mejor. Pero aquí estamos. Ready. <laughs> ready, ready. Okay, very good. So we're going to start right now. Let's see here. Okay. Okay, how many people I have? Let's see. Saul, welcome. Abigail, welcome. Hi. Hi, hi. So we're going to start with today's class. Hello, Abigail. Let me see here. Okay, yesterday we were practicing at the end some vocabulary, right? For places. So we're going to do that as well today so we can keep practicing, right? That's what we're gonna do. We're going to practice and we're going to practice prepositions. Do you practice prepositions in your house? No? Yes. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. You know, to give places. So that's what we're gonna do, right? We're going to work here. Just give me one second. Okay, there we are. Okay, so we're going to practice. And can you tell me some of the places that we were working with yesterday? What are some examples of places? Uy, no me ven, no me dicen. <laughs> okay, sorry. What are some examples of places that you can, uh, Remember from yesterday. Algunos ejemplos del vocabulario que practicamos? Yes? No? You don't remember any? Office. Office, okay, very good. Post office, Margarita, very good. Post office, okay, very good. 
We have post office. What else do what else do we have? Post office. Okay, another one? Drug store. Drug store. Very good. Drug store. What can you buy in the drug store? Nancy. What can you buy in the drug store? Um medications. Okay, yeah, medications. Okay. One example of a medication? Aspirin, um, Moscow cream. Muscle cream, okay, very good. Um, and and antacid. Antacid, very good. Very good. That's what we what we have, right? So I need just remember this. Do you remember this? Yes? No? Maybe? Yeah. Okay. Very good. So we have this vocabulary, right? We have gas station. Who wants to help me reading this? Necesito que recordemos la pronunciación because we're going to use it today. Who wants to help me? Okay. Yes. Hi. Gas station. Okay. We're going to do this. Nancy, you go with this, and Catherine, you go with the places, okay? Okay. Okay, let's start with Catherine. Gas station, department store, a bank, a post office, a drugstore, bookstore, coffee shop, and supermarket. Perfect, great, great, great. Very good. What about you, uh, Nancy? Okay. Aspirin, bread. A dictionary, gasoline, a sandwich, stamps, a suit, mm -hmm. traveler's checks. A traveler's check. Very good. So those are the places that we have, right, for yesterday's class, for the vocabulary. Welcome, everyone. And we're going to continue working here. We're going to work with more vocabulary, but this one is going to help you to know about places and directions, right? Places and directions. So first, uh, let's go ahead and work here. Give me a sec. I have to do this, okay. So we have this. We have prepositions right here, right? We have prepositions of place, lesson objectives. Uh, can someone help me out and read this? Let's see, Saul. Saul, can you read this part? Lesson objectives. Mm -hmm. By the end of this class, you will learn preposition of place in order to give direction. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Very good, very good, in a real life setting, very good. Saúl, so at the end of the class, va, al final de esta clase, aprenderán proposiciones de lugar para dar direcciones. Además, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un entorno de la vida real. Okay? So, okay. just to make sure, right? We're going to watch prepositions of place. That's, a, that's what we're going to work with today, right? The prepositions of place are the ones that are in bold, las que están en negrita, the words that are in bold. The department store, for example. Can you see the picture? Can you see the yes, picture? Yes. yes? Okay, yes, very good. Teacher. Very good. So we have the words, prepositions of place. On, on the corner of, across from, okay. next to, and between, right? These are the prepositions of place. Now, did you watch the video uh, today? 
the, the video for propositions? No. The platform? No. Okay, I no, imagine. I imagine. So don't worry, I'm going to show you I here. I promise tomorrow. <laughs> okay, don't worry. We're going to watch it here today because I need you to do that before we continue, right? Just give me a second. We're going to practice first with the video because I need you to watch that. Teacher, I finished the section one, two, and three, but it's missing for me number four and number five. Number four and number five. But for number four and number five, we have until Friday next week. So we're fine. Very good, Catherine. Ah, okay. Perfect. Hay mil disculpas que los mantengo presionando para eso, pero también nos dicen a nosotros, ¿verdad? Que los presionemos para que no se les olvide y podamos, It's fine, teacher. Sí, podamos practicar. So, let me go ahead and do this for you. Give me one second. I'm going to show you the video so we can practice. Right. Okay, there we are. So I need you to watch this and tell me if you can listen to the video, right? And then we do the practice. Give me one sec. Can you see the video? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, yes okay. teacher. Very good. Now, I need you to tell me if you can listen to this preposition on to make reference that a place is is that good yes 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 teacher okay very good let me see the the sound of my computer okay we're not putting some more okay so let's go ahead and watch the video don't forget that in this part we have subtitles in case that you don't understand but I recommend you to watch and listen only to the video. Okay, let's see. Are you ready? Do you have pen and paper to write? Tienen papel, lápiz para apuntar los que no han visto el video aún? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Okay, very good. So let's start. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn prepositions of place in order to give direction. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On on the corner of, across from, next to, between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now, and let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. 
on the images you can see the meaning of each preposition. Let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus gas station. Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. The U.S. Post Office. The U.S. Post Office is on Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Now let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. The super Recuerden ponerle mute a sus micrófonos para mientras vemos el video para, por el background noise. Por favor. Thank you very much. Supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and Second Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to... Okay, okay. So this is uh, pretty much the information or the video that we have about prepositions, right? So with the prepositions that we're going to practice, these prepositions are to give directions. That's what we're gonna do today. We're going to try to give directions. But first, before we do that, I need you to look at the prepositions that we have. These are the prepositions from the video, right? Okay, we have on, on the corner of, on the across corner. from, next to, between, right? So on the video, we can also see, right, that we have the examples. In the examples, we have the department store is on Main Street, right? That's what we have in the video. It's next to the bank, right? So, but what are the meaning of those prepositions, right? Ahorita se está preguntando qué significan esas palabritas en negrito, right? So that's what we want to know today. That's what we're gonna do. We're going to see first the meaning of each of them, but, you know, I don't like, um, the translation so we're gonna do here some some pictures look at the pictures here right these are prepositions that can tell you where things are right so we have a question for example here pongamos atención al balón where is the ball what is the ball and then we have the ball is on the box for example, it's on the box. Miren la posición de la pelota donde está. Cada una de las palabras que le vaya poniendo en, en, en rojo, o lo que vayamos a decir, esa es la posición. Y eso significa la preposition, right? El lugar donde está la pelota, right? So we have the next question, where is the ball, right? And we say, if we have number seven, what would be the answer for number seven? Where is the ball? It is on the box. It's? In, in the box. It's in the box. Okay, very good. 
Very good. It's in the box. Very good. Where is the ball? Right. Look at this one. One more time. Where is the ball? Uh -huh. One more time. Una vez más. Where sí, is the ball? The box. It's next to the box. Okay, very good. It's next to the box. Okay, very good. Now look at the pictures, please. Look at the pictures. Where is the ball? It's in front of the box. <laughs> it's in front of the box. Very good. Next time. Where is the ball? It's between, between uh -huh. the box. Between the box. Between the box and? And? The animal. The bear? The animal? The oso. <laughs> the bear. Uh -huh. the, bear. <laughs> the bear, the oso, the animal. Okay, very good. And let's see next. <clears throat> Where is the box? Under the box. It's the ball under is under the, the box. box. The ball is under the box or it's under the box. Okay, very good. Now let's continue. Look at it again. Near the near of the box or near, near box. Near the box. Uh, near the box. Near the box. Near very the box. good. Near the box. And the last one. Where is the box? The ball. Where is the ball? Behind the box. It's behind the box. Behind okay. the box. It's very good. Right? So now here, what we can see are the positions, right? That we have. For example, if we have, um, I don't have anything I want to show you. No. Okay. I think I can do this. Let me see here. If I have, for example, two bottles, can you see the bottles of water? Yes? Yes. Can you see? Okay, mm -hmm. very good. I have two bottles of water. Blue and pink. Okay, very good. Blue and pink. Very good. And I tell you, for example, where is the cell phone? Right? It's on the bottle. No, it's not on the bottom. Because it's if it's between, on the bottom, it's between between the bottle and bottle uh, pink and the bottle blue. Uh, blue. Very good. If you want to say that it's on the on on the bottle, we're gonna do this on, right? That's on. I can say, for example, that my laptop it's on the table right on the desk right so the prepositions pretty much are going to tell you the location of the things right so le vamos a des, las preposiciones nos van a ayudar en este específico caso to give directions right in this specific case to give directions to tell you where things are right so we need to pay attention to those words Cada una es una palabrita súper pequeña o un grupo de palabras bien pequeño, como next to o in front of, que nos dan una locación distinta y nos sirve para dar uh, directions. In the United States, to give directions is very important. It's very, very important. Here in El Salvador, it doesn't matter to give directions. Aquí en El Salvador damos direcciones a los salvadoreños, right? So you say, ¿y dónde está tal cosa? Está allá a la par de no sé qué. In front of the key. But in the United States, you have to be very, very specific, right? In the Estados Unidos, you have to be very specific and give the direction correct. Right? That's important. So we're going to check on this. Look at the other type of uh, propositions. These are more, right? These are more. Esta es otra forma gráfica de mostrar las proposiciones. So much, right? We have in or inside, on, at, near, under, over, below, above, 
round or around, through, among, between, behind, in front of, along, across, right? up. What down. is the meaning of below? Below? In, oh, below is, for example, if I have ah. this, I have the, the cup here, and this, I have this. So this is up, and this is, this is above, and this is below, right? <clears throat> so I can say the cell phone is below the, uh, the bottle. Abajo? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good. So these are, uh, well, more prepositions that I want to show you. No vamos a usar todas, so don't worry. But I need you to know them. Necesito que las conozcan, right? I need you to pay attention to them because they are very important, right? So bien importante, necesito que ya vayan uh, reconociéndolas, right? So let me go ahead and send you the picture because I want you to have that picture. Teacher, yes. any question? Uh, yeah, past, it's atrás. Past. Uh, in the back. In the back. In the back. That's, a, okay. you can say also, instead of saying that, you can say this word, Nancy. You can say behind. Behind. Sí. That's atrás. Right. That means okay. atrás. Yes. That would be this this preposition. Look at the picture. This one. Okay. Behind. Sí. You can see the closet, right? The closet is behind me. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what okay. we can say. Okay. Very good. So let's let's continue Thank practicing you. here. You're welcome, Nancy. Look at the pictures here. Right. In the picture, can you please read the picture, Catherine? Here, the dog. Okay. Yes. Sorry. What? Mm -hmm. Can you please read the picture? We have a picture there. Right. Okay. Don't read the don't read the answer. Just the picture. The, the dog. Ah, uh, the dog is. Let me see. In the box. The dog is in the box. Is that correct? In the people? box. Okay. Is that correct, everyone? Yes, no, maybe. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, very yes. good. That's correct. Right. What about this? Uh, I need to see here another person. Uh, let's see, Manuel. Okay. The dog um, is, and look at the dog. Okay, and the dog is under. I don't know, no. The dog is front on the table. You need to use three words. Look at the spaces. One, two, three. Okay. The dog is is on front of the that table. Okay, very good. The dog is in front of the table. It's in front of the table, right? Very good. One more. <coughs> Let's see here another person. Gabby? Under. Yes, teacher. Uh huh. What's the answer? Thank you, Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> the dog is under the table. Very good. The dog is <laughs> under the table. Very good. What about the next one? We have to use two prepositions. Uh, the dog. Uh, the dog is. Um, near to the table. Look at the prepositions on the screen. We have next, on, next to, uh, behind, and under. The dog is next to the table. Okay, very good, Gabby. Now. I think I have one more. Angel, let's try. Yes, yes, teacher, I'm here. What is the picture? <laughs> Charles, the dog is on the table. The dog is on the table, very good. 
Very good. And let's continue here another one. Uh, Jessica? Very good. The dog is behind the table. Very good. Great job, Jessica. And let's see here. Okay. We're going to do another activity right now. Right. So do we understand uh, right now prepositions, people? I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Yes, and the proposition at AT, uh, what is the what is the place in the in the space? What proposition? I'm sorry. AT at. Uh, at at is for a location. With that proposition, for example, I can say, I work at I work at Inglés Corporativo. So I'm just telling you to refer to a place. Ah, right. okay. Por eso es que se ocupa en las horas también. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Thanks, You're welcome. So let's go ahead and do the exercise now. I have an exercise that I want you to do. Right. Remember that what we're going to do here is that we're going to practice with the structures, right? So. We're going to go, go back a little bit, right? And we're going to see the prepositions of place. I need you to get familiar with the places, right? So let's see here. Give me a second. I'm gonna send you right now the picture. Okay, that's the map that we are going to use tonight. Okay, the one that I just sent you. What is the question that we're going to make for this map? We're going to make a very easy question, right? The, or we're, we're going to make a very easy structure, right? And look at the structure here. Can you see this on your screen? No, teacher. No. My internet is very slow when I'm in class, so I don't know. Yes, yes. Now? Okay, very yes. good. Now, the is in WhatsApp. now, yes. Okay, very good. No, the what the the one on the WhatsApp, we're going to use it in a minute, okay? Ya la vamos a usar, pero ya quería que la tuviera. Look at the okay. example here, right? It says look at the map on the next slide or look at the map on your WhatsApp, right? Complete the sentences with the prepositions in the box. Right? Okay. Then we have the the Number one, right? So take a look at your WhatsApp message because you should have this picture. Do you have the Teacher. picture? <clears throat> yes, I have. Okay, very good. I have a question. For example, yeah. how can I how can I answer or say me if the question is good? For example, how do I get? Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to in, practice in a minute. Mm -hmm. After after get. Always, I used to use T-O. T-O, how, how do I get to? Uh, always, I will use, always, I'm going to use T-O. Yeah, T-O means to. How do I get to the post office? How do I get to the hospital? And so on, right? Okay. But right now, we're just going to practice a one very simple question. Right, the simple question that we're going to practice, guys, is the following. Look at this. I need you to look at my computer. And the question is, for example, where is the coffee shop? Look at number one. Where is the coffee shop? Right? And the answer for that will be the coffee shop is on Second Avenue. It's, uh huh, and then we say it's, it's where? Can you look at the picture that you have there on your WhatsApp? And tell me and try to use a preposition for this. Mister is. Mm -hmm. Where is the coffee shop? The coffee shop it's behind is behind the show store. 
the shoe store. Okay, let's go ahead and see. We're looking for the coffee shop. So what we're gonna do here is that we're going to look for Second Avenue, right? The exercise is telling us right here, right, Second Avenue. So we're going to go to the picture and we're going to look for Second Avenue. Where is Second Avenue? Here, right? Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So here we have Second Avenue here. Where is the coffee shop? Is this the coffee shop? Is this the coffee shop? No. No, no okay. Is this the coffee shop? Mm, no. No. How about this one? On the, yes. Ah, yes. Okay, ah. very good. Very good. In so that's the coffee front shop. Front of. Okay, now, now let's choose. Let's see here the example that we have. Right? It says it's on Second Avenue. It's the shoe store. So we need to look for another place. Okay. So the other place that we're looking for, this is the coffee shop and this is the shoe store. Right? So what proposition am I going to use if I have these two places? They are at, across from across from is here. That's across from in front of no, because this is the movie theater. And I'm looking next, for the shoe store. Next to you. Next to behind. Very good. No. Next to next to next to next to next to. Because it's it's like this, right? For example, in El Salvador, in well, in San Salvador, we're going do you know Metro Centro? Yes? yes? Yes. Yes, okay, very good. Okay, very good. Now, in Metro Centro, let's see. <clears throat> okay. Do you know Cinemark in Metro Centro? Yes? Yes. Okay, yes. very good. So, Cinemark is it's next to the bakery. Do you know the bakery where they sell cakes? Right? Cinemark is next to the bakery. Right? They are next together, right? Or you can say also Dollar City is next to Juguetón. Right? That's what next we're going to, to say. War Games. Mm -hmm. Next to War Games. Very no, it, then we will say Burger King is in front of in front War Games. Game. Run off oh. war games. Exactly. Very good. Prepositions son un poquito difícil para nosotros porque casi no, no estamos acostumbrados a dar direcciones. Right? That's, we don't do that in, in El Salvador. We don't give directions. But we're going to try to practice the directions here. Right? En El Salvador no lo hacemos. Right? No vamos a lo loco. But here we're going to try to do it. So, Two things that we're gonna do. You already have, you already have the map, right? In the exercise, it's going to be a little bit complicated. In the exercise first, you are going to look for this, right? Okay. And then you are going to look at the first place. The coffee shop is on Second Avenue. So you're going to look at the map on your cell phones, you're going to look at the map, and then you're going to locate the other place, right? It says shoe store, ah, is it? Okay, the shoe store. Then you're going to select the preposition. The preposition can be next to, for example. It's next to the shoe store, right? So remember that this it is the coffee shop. Right. Pero estamos utilizando el eat para no ser repetitivos y no decir otra vez the coffee shop. And that's what we're doing. So, is it clear what we're going to do? O, vamos, o hacemos otro ejemplo juntos. Hagamos el segundo. Yes. A ver cómo nos va. Okay, very good. But you're going to help me. Ustedes me van a ayudar. Okay. okay. Porque ustedes tienen el mapa. 
It says there, the movie theater is, right? The movie theater, look at the map, right? On your phones, that's why you have it. The movie theater front is, of? is in front of Park in Maine. Park okay. in Maine. Where is Park in Maine? Park Street, right here. Oops, give me a second. Can you see my computer? Yes, right? Can ver mi compu? Sí? Yes. This is Park and this is Main, right? Okay. So the movie theater, it's, it's what? What can we say here? It's on Main. Oh. It's, it's on? Oh. Main Street. Front of park. Okay, let's do the first part together. You have the map. It says the movie theater is on park in Maine. Is that correct? Yes, you can say that. And then it says the park, right? So when you say the park, you need to look for the park, right? And where is the park here on the picture? This front is the park. Off. Okay, in front of. Very good. In front of the park. Okay. Very the park. Good. So that's what we're going to do. Vamos a tratar de ver el mapa y tratar de utilizar las preposiciones con el significado que ya estamos tratando de, de, de manejar. Aprender. Right? De aprender. Exactly. That's what we're trying to do. We're going to be familiar with the prepositions. Right? And the places. The places is easy. Hospital, park, a bank, movie theater, department store. Right? Those are the places in the city. The difficult part is when we practice the prepositions and we are trying to give directions. Right? That's the difficult part. Remember here the example that Mr. Uh, Mr. Science gave us on the video? Right, that's the difficult part, right? Look at the examples here. Vamos a verlo. Okay, look at the examples. This is the example from the video, right? So we say, where is, right, the department store? And look at the pictures here, right? And it says, the department store is on Main Street. Y quiero que se fijen dónde están las eh, crucitas, right? It says, the department store is on Main Street. It's next to the bank, right? So it's supposed to be this one, right? This is the department store, right? And then we have, it's on the corner of Main Street. It means that it's here, right? It's across from the park. Look at the look at the, the picture. Right. It's next to the bank. Right. Then it says the bank is between the department right here. So this is the bank. Right. The the bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Right. Entonces vamos a fijarnos en esta imagen. En esta en particular, ¿dónde están las flechitas? Right? So that's what we're going to use. When we use the, this picture, that's what we're going to use to identify the places in the map that I sent you. Okay? Is that clear what we're doing? Miren dónde están las flechitas en, en la imagen de las propositions del video que acabamos de ver. Fíjense en qué, en qué lugar, en qué posición dentro del mapa están. I'm going to show you again. Can you see here? Good? No, sí. teacher. No la mira. The picture is church. Yes. Yes? La puede subir. <laughs> Can you see the picture? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. very, very good. So, the prepositions are going to tell you the places, right? So, if we say on, 
This is on. Look at this. And this is the picture. Ese es el lugar. Y ahí está Main Street y ahí está First Avenue. Right? Si le dice on the corner of el building que usted está buscando tiene que estar como este, el edificio, el place. Look at this. Right? Yes. This, yes. This, is, this, this is what you're going to follow. Right? This is what we're going to do right now. So let's go ahead and I'm going to send you this picture too. Right? Give me one second. So we, we can do the exercise. Yo sé que ahorita lo van a sentir difícil, but we need to practice. There's no other way. Right? Vamos a practicar de todos modos. Right? So let's go ahead and do this. Are you ready for the practice? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay, siento que hoy solo hablé yo, no me gusta. Right? Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's practice. You have all the information in your WhatsApp, and I'll be in your group in one minute. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go to the groups. Very good. Let's go. Catherine, Jessica, please go to the groups. Catherine and Jessica, please go to the groups. No las mandó, ¿verdad? Was not clear. Was not clear. Uh, I cannot see the, the screen in the class. I'm not sure my cell phone. It was your really? cell phone. <laughs> my same phone. It it's wrong. It's bad. Ayer, what is the practice? I sent you the practice to your cell phones right now. We're practicing right now with the picture, the map, right? And I'm sending you right now the sentences that we're going to use, right? We're going to use the sentences that we just practiced. Give me a second. Oh. Uh -huh. uh, for example, teacher, no, I'm US... going... no, 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 we're using just the vocabulary that we have practiced. That's what we're doing right now. Ah, es que no se había cargado, mire. Ahí va. Um, ah, we see. Okay. We see. Uh, the picture is in my cell phone. Very good. Okay. So that's you're using these sentences, these places, and these prepositions, right? And this map. Mm, map. Okay. The map is going to help you to answer the sentences, right? Okay. 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 Are we clear now? Yes. No. Question? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Gabi, Catherine. Yes, it's clear I now. Have the... All right. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. Este, the movie theater. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Movie theater. 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 It is. It's not. Theater. It's not teatro, Angel. It's like cinema or cinema. Cine, cine. Mm -hmm. Theater. The movie theater. Perfect, the Catherine. Yeah, movie theater. Very good. Movie theater it's on is... the park in Maine. I don't know. It... You practice. <laughs> the movie theater is. Let me see. The, the movie theater in front of the park. In front of the park. In Maine. But what is the Maine? Maine yes. is Maine is a street. It's like, a street, the principal, mm -hmm. like the principal a street. Yeah. In like, front of. Okay, Angel, listen to in your front class. Twice, please. Angel, 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 listen to your classmates. Escucha sus compañeras también, okay? Let's practice. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I see you in a minute. Bye bye. Okay. Uh -huh.
O sea, que lo que dice que es que el departamento de tiendas está, está en la en calle la principal y está en la esquina de la Main Street. De la calle Main. La First Main, Avenue. La primera Main, avenida. Main. Main. Understand. Eh, principal. La principal calle, eh, creo. La calle Main, principal. Pues, calle principal. Ajá, ok. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Kind of. ¿Qué relajo tienen ustedes? Okay. <risa> es, eh, understand the, the, the street and avenue. Avenues. Depart avenue. When you have mm -hmm, department. Department store. A department store in El Salvador is like Simán. Mm -hmm. eh, like, uh, what's the other one? Sara, um, those are department stores. Uh, mm -hmm. Sears. Sears, very good. Carry on. Carry, tenemos Prisma carry Moda. On. Carry on. Exactly, Prisma yes. Moda. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's across from the park. Okay. Oh, um, uh, it's across a question. From, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sir, uh, uh, the, the correct, uh, the form correct pronunciation is across. This across. Across, across from, across. exactly. Across from. Across from, very good. Yeah. Across from. Across from. Across from. Okay, very okay. good. Okay, let me go ahead and go to the next group, okay? I'll see you in a moment. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Let's do Do you have questions? Uh, um, no, for a moment, no. It's next to? Yes. Next to? It's next to? The hospital. Okay. And the bank is at. For la la cuatro cuál es the post office is. Mhm. Mm the the post the office post is uh, on is. center and second. It's where? Let me see. The number four. The post office is. Okay, very good. Take a look at the map. The post office yeah, is. is mm -hmm. On center and second. Center and second. In the corner of, okay. Remember the picture that I sent you at the beginning? You have the propositions there. Uh, okay. La que tiene las crucitas. Ya la vieron? Sí, sí, sí. Ok, very good. Miren dónde están las crucitas. Si la crucita uh -huh. está en la esquinita, como está eh, the post office, right? You're going to use on the corner of. Oh, yeah. Right? It's on the corner of Second Avenue. Ok, ok. And Center Street. Ok. It's on, right? It's on the corner of. You can say it's on the corner of Second okay. Avenue and Center Street. Okay, very good. <coughs> okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. <coughs> it's. Uh, vamos a ver dónde están los. It's the hospital. It's uh, next to hospital. Next hospital. To the hospital. Yeah, it's next to the hospital. Next, yeah. next, next to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very you, good. You're welcome. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> the ban is. The ban. Yeah. The ban is. The restaurant. The oh. department store. Oh, sería entonces eh, mines. Is mines main? No, it's a be, between. Sería así? Between. 
la pronunciación between. Between. Ok, between. So yeah. The mm -hmm. bank is between the restaurant and the department store. Between. It... Between. It's a... Uh... So on Main Street? Main Street. It's on Main Street? On. On. Yeah, on. On. On Main on Street. Main Street. Okay. This, this very good. Song, um, okay. Hello, hello. Hello. Hi, how was the practice? Está difícil. A little bit. Uh, yes. It's difficult? Okay. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Very good. So we're going to work here uh, and tell me here the answers because I don't know the answers. So let's see how many people I have. Faltan cuatro. Let's wait for the others. Silencio. Ya les pusimos mute, no se aplica. <laughs> okay, very good. Now we have there, right, the pictures here. And I need you to tell me, I'm going to be here with the questions. And you tell me the answers. And the other ones will tell us if that's okay or not. Yo voy a ver aquí la respuesta. Ustedes me dicen si está bien o no. I have here number, well, number three. Uh, let's see one person for number three. Teachers say address is very difficult. Yeah, it's difficult. <laughs> It's very the difficult. Positions are difficult because you can use across, on, up, in, between. <laughs> but if you follow this one, eh, Catherine, the one that I sent you on your WhatsApp, yes, it's difficult too. A little bit. A little bit. Okay, a little bit. Okay. So let's go ahead and see. What do you have for number three? The gas station. Next to. Next to what? Okay, give me the whole answer. I'm going to look at my map. That's why I'm watching my phone, okay? I'm looking at my map. The station, I think, is next to the parking lot. The gas station is... I, I, say, I say it's in front. Okay, it's in front of the parking lot. In front of. Very good. Why do we say in front of? Look at the next picture, uh, Catherine. Look at the picture, this one. Uh -huh. right. On this picture, when you have in front of, right, or across from, we can use across from or in front of. Look at, it's the same, it's the same uh, location, right? Okay. Okay, so it's, it's what? Catherine, what else? The gas station is across from the parking lot. It's? Mm, I don't know. It's on. It's on first and center. What do you think? I think it's on. It's on first and center. Very good. Right? Right? Or you can say it's in the corner, on the corner of first and center. Now. ¿Cuál va a ser el, 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 yo sé que esto es difícil, así que no se preocupen, it's not the first time. Eh, vamos a, por eso les traía varios ejemplos y quizás les voy a mandar también la imagen del chuchito aquí, de la pelotita, right? Do you want this picture? Yes. Ok, but without, without yes, picture. please. Ok, this. Ok, this is what I'm going to send you. 
right? Now, I need you to practice. Le voy a, ya, lleva, ya llevan esas, eh, el mapa para que lo vayan viendo, pero tengo otro que no lo podemos trabajar hoy. Look at this one, right? We have another map. You are here and you follow the directions here. You look for the places. The best way is to ask, where is the cafe? Oh, the cafe is on the corner of Rings Road. So that's what we say there, right? Right, that's what we say there, the cafe is on the corner of Kings Road, right? That's what we're gonna do. So I'm going to send you this tomorrow so you can practice. Le voy a enviar eso, pero mañana para que practiquen, porque ya llevan bastante, right? And it's difficult. Okay. Okay, very good. Creo que ahorita llevan bastantes preguntas y todo, pero sí vamos a ir trabajando. Necesito que también vean el video de nuevo, el mismo que vimos hoy. Véanlo, por favor, en la plataforma, so you don't have any questions, right? Y vamos okay. trabajando ahí los mismos. Okay, guys. So okay. I will let you go, porque ya son las nueve. Uy, ya me pasé. Okay, I will let you go, right? Because I have another group waiting for me. Okay, have yes, a beautiful see you night. Tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you tomorrow. Good night. Bye, Abigail. Yeah.